Hey everybody, Camille Haynes, Weikert Realtors with the Morris Luxury Living Group. It is a chilly Thursday evening here in the greater Morristown area. I'm actually back in the office now. Just finished attending a great event um, hosted by the Morristown Partnership um, held at the Morristown Hyatt. Just want to give kudos to them for that. Um, the reason why I am back in the office besides doing some work is I wanted to take a moment to introduce you guys to my new video blog series. What I'm hoping to accomplish in the next couple of weeks, months, and hopefully years to come is to inform you guys, the consumer, about first off all the great things this Greater Morristown area has to offer. Community news, um, you know, events, and definitely real estate related information so that you go ahead as a home buyer or a home seller have the most informed and you know easiest as a result um, real estate transaction as possible. So one of the things I do would like to begin is to go ahead and begin my question of the week which is going to be definitely part of my video blog series. Um, this first question which I will begin with is something I definitely get asked um, by any home sellers I usually work with. It's something I've had conversations with with my coworkers and so just agents in the community in general. And that question is, how effective are open houses? So let me begin by saying, first off, I'm a huge New York Football Giants fan. I'm looking forward to this weekend, you know, as my boys in blue go ahead and play against the Niners for an opportunity to go to the Super Bowl. You know, now if I was a homeowner and if my agent called me up and said, hey, I want to hold an open house this weekend, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to be in any particular rush to leave my house. <laughs> but I do say that open houses are definitely an effective marketing tool if used properly. There are a couple of things that I suggest you go ahead and have a conversation with with your agent prior to hosting any open houses. And they include the following. Number one is just making sure that your agent puts out as many directional signs leading to the house as possible as long as the town allows it. There are certain towns within this area that you know do have ordinances and they don't really allow many signs to be placed out but as many as you can to lead to the house because I definitely see potential buyers come through as a result of these signs. Number two um, is to go ahead and ask your agent if they do send out any mailings, you know, and if they do, do they, can they send them to, you know, your local neighbors, members of the geographic area, maybe a couple of apartment buildings nearby, because you never know where your home, um, your future home buyer is coming from. It could be one of the renters in that apartment building, or it could be a neighbor a couple of houses down who's looking for a house for a friend. Number three, which I think is extremely critical, is just to make sure that your agent is on top of placing any advertising for the open house beforehand. And I'm not talking today. You know, this is something that should be done approximately a week beforehand, um, especially on the websites, you know, your realtor.coms, your agent's um, company's website, their personal website, you know, a lot of the national brands like Atrulia or Zillow, you know, so that any home buyers who do find about, out about your property on the web, they are aware of an open house. Um, I think that's something that's definitely critical. You know, as far as newspapers, open houses are usually placed the day, I'm sorry, are usually notified the day of, um, but need to be placed at least a week in advance um, for any printing. So your agent still needs to be on top of that. And the fourth thing, which I think is also important, is being aware of your price point. And what I mean by that is, within this greater Morristown area in particular, if you have a house, let's say, that's listed at $100,000, a fixer-upper, not sure if I'm necessarily going to suggest that you hold any open houses because I'm not sure if you're really going to get that potential buyer coming to that open house during that time period. Um, same might be say it, set it at a luxury point, price point. You know, at a higher price points, um, I definitely would advise if you do hold an open house, maybe having a second person there, you know, to make sure that your valuables are protected. But, you know, just to, um, you know, have a conversation with your agent to even make sure that they are going to be effective for, you know, your potential buyer. So, well, I would love to hear back from you guys. 
Do you think open houses are effective? Um, do you have any great stories? Any nightmare stories? You know, any suggestions for any future home sellers? I would love to hear your advice. Definitely leave your comments below. And um, I will actually leave off with this. I remember when I first started with the business, I honestly hated open houses. Um, I thought they were a waste of time. You know, you had nothing but nosy neighbors coming through, you know, blah, blah, blah. That all changed when I held an open house um, and a lovely couple came into this property that I was hosting in West Orange. Definitely changed my outlook on things. You know, it's definitely happened again for me, you know, with people just coming in from the open houses and as a result um, have purchased the properties. So I will say that open houses do work um, in case, you know, there are any naysayers out there. But just to go ahead, if you have any more questions for me or need any suggestions or advice um, or would have any suggestions for the question of the week, I would love to hear back from you. Your, my contact information is going to follow immediately afterwards. So definitely reach out to me if you do want to. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. Um, so until next week, I hope everybody has a great week. And of course, most importantly, go Giants!